What is up, guys? Time for another talk on the couch with Garrett. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, what's going on? It's another day. Another day started. That means another day was down yesterday. That means another day behind us on this journey. Let's go. Hope you all are still joining me. Uh, so, I want to talk a little bit more about my calories as I ended yesterday's video. So, basically, if you guys didn't see that, I am up to yesterday. I ended the day at right around 3,000 calories. So today, I'd like to be right around from anywhere from 28 to 3,200. That's my overall goal on the day. The scale's not changing. Uh, my workouts are staying the same. So everything should realistically staying the, stay the same throughout this week. And I will obviously keep you guys updated on that. My weight's still at 227 today. So everything like that is good. I didn't do any cardio again yesterday. Probably not going to again today. Cardio sucks dick, and I'm trying to keep my gains. I'm not trying to lose any muscle before the bulk. I want to save all of it for the bulk. So, that is where I'm at right now. Um, <laughs> what else can I tell you guys about? Oh, okay. So, I wanted to touch base on something real quick. I... I feel like I have not been able to bring you guys the best content I can. Um, if you guys have any ideas as to what I can do to bring you guys better content, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you guys would like to see from me, what types of videos you guys want, um, or video ideas that you guys want to see. And uh, if you guys can do that, I can bring you guys better content and uh, quality of the content will go up because you guys will like it more uh, well not the quality i guess the quality is going to be the quality i'm not fucking rich so i can't go out and buy a fancy ass camera um but yeah so that's where we're at right now i uh, hope y'all are still with me on this journey key i'm going to keep grinding for you guys uh, i hope you guys are keeping grinding too so without further ado again i don't know what we're going to do but the next thing you guys might see is the gym no. Okay. No. The next thing you're going to see is me because I'm still talking. But I do want to say, guys, the gym has been so packed lately and I don't know why. I'm going to try to go a little bit earlier today and hope that it's not so I can get some video for you guys. But I'm not sure. It is. I mean, it's cold out, so I can't really go outside. Uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try to do something for you guys because I feel bad. I feel like I'm not bringing you guys the best type of content that you guys want to see and videos that you guys would want to watch. I'm not doing the best at that right now, but I'm going to try to get better. I'm going to try to film more at the gym because that's what this whole journey is about, right? You guys want to see me lifting the weights, but right now I just haven't been able to do that because it's been so packed. So we're working on trying to find another gym in the area. But there's only a select couple, two, three. I mean, there's a Planet Fitness, but there's only a few gyms. Um, so I'm trying to work that out. I just don't want to make anybody upset. And at the gym I'm at, as you guys have probably seen in some of the clips from there, everything's so combined and close that unless I'm doing a lift way in the back, you're still going to see people in the background. And I don't want to piss anybody off. There's a select few older people that go there that I don't really want to upset and uh, make them feel like I'm filming them. There's no sense doing that. I don't want to have to deal with them revoking my membership or me getting in trouble in that way or anything. So that's where I'm at with that. I will try to do better at that. I'll try to find a better time maybe to go, a better, maybe I'm hoping I can find a gym that's less packed that I can just go to. Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm at with that. So yeah. Let's hope that it's not as packed today and maybe I can get some more clips for you guys. Yesterday I was able to get a little bit more because I didn't have to bring the tripod out. So I just kind of set my phone in the cup holder and hit it a little bit. So, yeah, I'm hoping that maybe I'll get more comfortable as time goes on too. Uh, it's just kind of one of those things that, I don't know, maybe I just care what people think too much. I don't know, but I'm hoping soon I'll maybe get over that or... It'll just put being packed. Okay, so we're cooking our pre-workout snack. We got some chicken in here. 
we're gonna fry it up again today. Um, we got a baked potato in the microwave. And then, don't worry, we got more carbs and we got uh, some cut up potato in the air fryer. So we are carving it up before the gym. We wanna store this glycogen to be able to push our workout and to feel this workout today. So this is our pre-workout, probably about an hour, hour and a half before we go to the gym. So, yeah. So I just want to say one thing, though. I want, to, I want to express how important carbs are. Carbs help fuel the workout. They help your muscles stay fueled and um, not get as tired so quickly. Uh, carbs store the glycogen. And help you store that glycogen to fuel your workouts, to help you recover, and uh, to get the everything, store everything the right way. If you don't, if you just focus on protein, now sure, protein's a good source. Protein gives you the amino acids to build your muscles and gives you everything to help your muscles grow. But carbs help you push through the workout, help you not get tired, so you can build your maximum amount that you can while you're in the gym. If you go in there without carbs, you're going to feel tired. Yeah, you have enough protein to where that's going to help you build muscle, but it's not you're not you don't have the carbs to store the glycogen wherever it should be stored in your muscles and be able to push during your workout and get everything you possibly can out. Get all you know instead if you don't have carbs, you're going to go in there and you're going to be tired a lot quicker. You're not going to be able to push yourself all the way to the end as good as you can without or without with just protein. If you have just protein before the gym, you can't go push yourself as hard as you can when you have these carbs. Now, I did the same thing when I first started and I mean, there's not a whole I mean, as long as you're doing everything the right way, it'll be fine. Make sure you're getting enough protein, make sure make sure you're adding carbs though. It's, I mean, I will express just make sure you're adding carbs and getting enough carbs throughout the day and not just focusing on protein. Now, protein is key. Protein is one of the biggest things you can do, but carbs are also very, very important too. Don't think you should just cut out carbs if you're trying to build muscle. That's not how it works at all. You need the carbs to build muscle. I mean, if you're fucking trying to build muscle in the gym, don't be in there fucking doing a keto diet. That's just not how this shit works. So research on it a little bit. I mean, don't just listen to me because I'm not a fucking scientist, but don't just listen to me. Research on it a little bit. Do a little bit of your own research. Um, not that I don't want to give you the info, but like I said, I'm not a scientist. So do some research on it. Um, figure out what's good for you, how many grams you should be eating a day. After you do a little bit of research, you'll figure that out. And uh, I kind of play it by ear. It doesn't really fucking matter. Make sure you get enough. That's all I would. That's all I tell myself. Make sure I get enough. But yeah, we got chest and tries today. So let's hope we can push ourselves to the max on everything we do. And I'm gonna eat this food after it's done. Um, we got about a pound of chicken breast, a potato, and some fries. I probably won't eat all this chicken breast right now. I'll probably save some for after the gym because I already know I'm gonna be a hungry fuck after that. I don't want to be fucking so full that I can't do anything in the gym. So I'll probably eat the baked potato, the potatoes, and probably like two of these chicken breasts. Or, well, there's two chicken breasts, but I cut them up into four slices. So I'll eat two of those, the baked potato, and the fries I have. So probably about 700 calories. And then we'll go to the gym. And fucking figure out what we're going to do the rest of the day. Alrighty, y'all. So, I'm not going to lie to you. 
I forgot my tripod for the gym today. And I had nowhere to set it up on any of the machines that I was working on. So I didn't get any video in the gym. Well, I got one clip that you guys seen. So you guys were like, wait, you didn't get any video. Yeah, I know. I know I told you this morning I was trying to bring you guys better quality videos and I already fucked it up. Tomorrow. <laughs> no. Um, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I really am trying my best to bring you guys the best videos, but sometimes things happen and it doesn't work out. So, yeah, I'm finishing up the night right now, doing a little bit of homework, and I have my creamy uh, ready. Well, it's getting ready. I already blended it up. It's just I put it back in the freezer because I put too much almond milk in it, so I'm kind of letting it refreeze. <laughs> But no, I uh, hit chest and uh, tries today. That went good. I got a nice pump. Uh, tries are feeling good. I didn't have to do too many. I did. So for chest, I started off with flat bench. And then I did an incline dumbbell press. And then what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? Okay, I did cable flies. And then I did the fly machine. I did cable flies, so I did a set where I go uh, a set from the bottom, set from the middle, set from top, set from top, set from middle, set from the bottom. So it's a super set of two. I mean, it's it's all three, and it's a total of two sets. But you rest, and it's a total of six sets really. But it's going up, and it's like a ladder up and down. Uh, so that was kind of good. I added that back today. Today was my first time doing that again since I was working out up north. Um, but yeah, that was nice. That gave me a nice chest. I could really feel that in my chest, in my pecs. I can feel the pump. Uh, I'm trying to work on my lower chest more. I'm starting to get my upper chest good, but my lower chest needs to be more developed. Uh, that's really quite underdeveloped. So yeah, that's where I'm at right now with that. Tries, I got a really nice tri pump. My tries are kind of small, so... It was good that I got to focus on the two things that I really want to develop. My shoulders, I need to develop more. My biceps are getting there. My biceps are pretty nice. Well, not, I mean, not obviously close to where I want them, but for all things considered, they are, they're the best developed muscle group I have, my biceps. So that's uh, always good. What else, what else, what else? Okay, I hit earlier on carbs before workout and carbs post-workout. They help store the glycogen. Um, cheat days, okay. So, obviously I talked the other day about cheat days, cheat meals, whatever you guys want to call it. Uh, some people choose to cheat throughout the day, which puts you at being able to eat multiple meals that are over your calories for the day. So if you're in a, say you're in a calorie deficit of like 2,300, say you're at 2,300 calories and that's your calorie deficit that you're in. If you guys can eat a surplus of only, if you're in a deficit and you can eat your cheat day and only go over by 700 calories and be at your maintenance on the day, that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Even if you go over. You're still getting your lift in, which is burning calories. And, all you know, it's, it's, it's a good thing to refeed because you don't realize what you're depriving yourself of when you are cutting. And refeed helps your metabolism. It helps boost that back up because your body needs, knows it needs to work again. So it helps your metabolism not completely just crash. So that was one thing I was really big on when I was cutting really hard was you do have to do cheat meals and cheat days, whatever. So cheat meals, you can do. Uh, I chose a cheat day when I did it because it was easier for me. I didn't like to eat one big meal of junk food. I wanted to eat a few different things of junk food throughout the day. And that helped me uh, more. Now, the reason I would recommend a cheat meal is for workouts. Um, 
as far as those purposes go. If you're work, if you're cheating throughout the day and you still go to the gym, you're not going to feel the greatest. You're going to kind of feel like shit that day at the gym because you did not eat the right foods before the gym. So that is one thing about cheat meals. But other than that, it is good to refeed. It's really, I mean, you got to eat. So the one, like, for as far as cutting goes, everyone wants to look good and shredded, but what I started to realize after I hit that certain point, I realized once I got down, if I got down any more than where I'm at, like right now I'm at about 227. So I got down to like 225 at my all time lowest. Well, my all all time lowest was 222. And after that, I decided uh, when I got down there, I'm like, that was about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And then I decided, I'm like, I'm not really looking how I want to. I'm kind of starting to, I'm losing, I'm losing muscle. I'm not as energized because I was cutting at such a low amount of calories. So I wasn't able to get all my right macros. So at the gym, I was tired and fatigued every day because I wasn't getting enough carbs. Um, I wasn't getting enough protein. I was kind of eating 2,000-ish maybe, maybe if that, of foods that I had no idea, not no idea, that, I mean, I was watching, don't get me wrong, but I wasn't doing it like I am now, but I started getting more serious about it, and you guys would see results immediately, and I realized that if I would have cut down any more than to that point, I was losing more than just fat at that point, I was losing muscle, so that being said, I had to start eating more to not bulk, not bulk back up because I'm not trying to gain fat, but I have to eat more to build muscle. So when building muscle, you de you have to eat. You can't be cutting and building muscle. It just doesn't work like that. You might stay at the same muscle if you can do it right and shred off some of the fat, but you're not going to build muscle and cut at the same time. It just doesn't work like that. So I do want to say when I cut down from 300 to where I'm at now, I was off, not 300, 315, 320, somewhere in there, to where I am now. I never went to the gym once. I never went for a run once. I mean, I had baseball season because it was my senior year of high school. I'm 19 right now, by the way, and I was just 300 and some pounds uh, when I was 17, 18-ish. I think I was still 18. Maybe not. Maybe Either way, it doesn't matter. I might have been 17. I was definitely 17. So anyway, when I finally decided to make the decision to lose weight, I did it the most improper way, and that was just to quit eating. And now, where I'm at now, I want to look good, look jacked, look shredded, look good all the time like everybody does, but... I lost all that muscle that I was holding on to when I was 300 pounds, so I have to rebuild that now. But to do that, I have to be able to eat. I can't not eat and still lose the fat and look the way I want to. Sure, I could get down to 200 pounds, but I'm still not going to look the way I want to. I won't have enough muscle to look the way I want to. I'll have still a little bit of fat because I'm not building the right amount of muscle. Going to the gym itself just doesn't solve everything for you. You still have to eat right. You have to um, train right still. I mean, you have to, like I talked about earlier, I mean, you have to stress your body out. You have to freak your body out. You have to scare your body. Uh, you can't just go to the gym and do the same workouts week and week. There's a fly going across the camera right now, and I don't know if it's affecting it or not. But you can't just go to the gym every week, not every week, every day, sorry, that fly really started getting in my mind, you can't go to the gym every day and expect just to immediately get muscular, because you have to stress your body out, you have to freak it out, that's the way it builds muscle, you have to do different things every time, because you build up a tolerance, you know, it's just like anything, you build up a tolerance to it, so if you deal, you know, if you deal with some type of pain, the first day you have it, it's going to hurt like a bitch, the second day you have it, it's still going to hurt like a bitch, but it's going to get slightly better. The third day you have it, it's going to get slightly better. And eventually, not that you don't realize it's not there, but 
you still know that the pain's there, but it's just not as bad as it was on day one. You don't realize it as much as you did on day one. So by the time you get, it's just like lifting though. You can go in there and you can do, say you do curls. You can do preacher curls. Say let's, let's, let's just say preacher curls. That's an easy one. So you can do preacher curls every time you lift. And after a couple weeks, it won't be doing anything beneficial to you because you're not stressing your body out. Your body knows, oh, I'm about to do preacher curls. Let me just sit here and curl this. You're not doing anything. And if you're doing the same weight, you're not building. You know, you got to push your muscles to grow. You got to push your muscles to that next step. You have to up the weight all the time because if you don't up the weight and push yourself, you're not doing anything and there's no sense even going to the gym. So I want you guys to think about that. And that's pretty much it for today. So I will talk more about that tomorrow. I'll talk more about stressing your muscles out tomorrow. Well, I'll try to. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are sticking with me on this journey. This is day number six already. That's crazy. I'm so happy I started doing this. Um, I felt better. It's made me go to the gym every day. made me push myself every day. made me start watching my calories more every day and uh, focusing on what I look like more now than what I already did, even though I already did quite a bit. Now I am even more because I want to get to that next step for you guys and show you guys that you can do it. I love you guys, and I will see you tomorrow. Peace.